Welcome to this tutorial on Griffin Tools by DG Technologies. In this episode, I will be presenting some basic commands that you can use to verify that your Griffin channels are working and configured correctly. So the Griffin has many interfaces. One of the interfaces is the web pages, and the, each Griffin has a web server running on it. It serves up the pages that you need to configure the Griffin and get information and stats and look at your channels. So one of the things I like to do every day when I set up is go ahead and you know, verify that my channels are working and that I can receive and transmit. So the first thing we do is I do is look at the baud rates on my channels and make sure they're set up correctly. So if you click on channels here in the web interface, it'll take you to the web page that shows you the details for the installed channels. So here we can see the first two channels are CAN, SJ1000 CAN, and right over here is the baud rate. The first channel is set up for 500K, and the second one set up for 500K also. So that's exactly what I want. So to test the channels, we can actually log in to the Griffin through Telnet and use the command line interface. In order to, in order to do that, we will bring up PuTTY, which will let us bring up a Telnet session into the Griffin. So if I open up a Telnet window to my Griffin, I get a login. And I can log in as root. And your password is in your documentation. And you get a Linux prompt. And you have all of the uh, Linux tools available here that you would find on any Linux machine. You also have here the Griffin tools that are provided by DG. And some of the most useful and basic tools are Griff RX and Griff TX, which stands for Griffin Receive and Griffin Transmit. So now I'll demonstrate using Griffin Griff TX and Griff RX. And if we just type in Griff RX by itself, it will give us a help screen that shows us all the command line arguments. And if you just put a uh, dash C with the channel number you can monitor a particular channel. If you want to look at all the channels that you have installed in your Griffin you can just use a dash on GriffRx and you hit return and it will actually list out all the channels first that you have and then start monitoring them all. So here you can see there's six channels uh, that I have installed in the Griffin. Uh, the first two are SJ1000 CAN channels, the next two are DLC and the next two are single wire CAN. And the stars next to the one through six here means that that's the those are the channels that Griff TX is currently monitoring. So now to, to test the receive and transmit of my CAN channels, all I need is some data. So in order to get some data, I'm going to pull up another PuTTY window, and I'm going to tell that into my other Griffin. And in this Telnet window, I'm going to run Griff TX. So I'm going to run Griff TX, and I'm going to transmit on channel 1. Dash C is the channel. Dash H for the headers. Uh, so I'll use, a, just make up a, a header, 0101. I'll use an 11-bit header, and then dash D for some data. And add some data to my transmit. And I hit return. And you can see I've transmitted, and you can see the other Griffin has received the data on channel 1. If we do that again, you can see we'll transmit again. The, the number after the T is the timestamp, and it gives you the, so it gives you the timestamp and the header and the data. So now I verified that um, my Griffin is receiving data. Now I can turn that around and run Griff. Rx on my other Griffin and run Griff TX here and uh, just to verify that I can transmit. And so uh, I'll transmit on channel 1 again and I'll make up some header information and I'll make up some data. And when I transmit it, you can see it shows up on the channel on the other Griffin. So you can do this. Uh, test with two Griffins. You can also do this test with a single Griffin. So using a single Griffin, you can 
create a loopback connector and tie if you have a like for example a dual wire can card you can tie channel one to channel two and then you can run griff uh, rx and, and uh, on one channel and you can run griff tx on the other channel and you can do your your loop your transmit and receive loopback test so this verifies that my channels are working and it's hooked up correctly and the baud rates are the same on each channel and my CAN bus is alive and I'm ready to uh, go on and use the CAN bus.